Hi there, Z here, and um, this is going to be a bit of a bittersweet type review because as a lot of you know, I have been following the Bad Ben series since I found the very first one because I love them. I mean, I don't love all of them, let's say like 68% of them. I'm going to say a good 68% of the ones that I actually unlike because to be completely fair, just the half-ass nature of Nigel Bach making these movies and, you know, just laughing at them and making reviews of them, and it's it's just been a blast. It really has. Some of them have been better than others, let's be completely fair, but overall I've just been having a great time enjoying the kind of YouTube-esque qualities um, of these movies. I mean, I really have, but uh, let's be completely fair, guys. You either quit while you're on top of your game you either quit while you're the best of your game or you live long enough to see your series become the transformer series and that's exactly what nigel nigel bach has done nigel has stopped while he was ahead with his final iteration of the bad ben series badder ben the final chapter oh i love it already i love it already so by any means Let's just, let's raise our glasses. Let's raise our glasses to the entertaining incompetence of the Bad Ben movies. And let's look at one last one. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm kind of being too serious for my type of reviews. So uh, just to kind of lighten the mood, just to kind of increase the, com the immature comedic value of this video, I'm now going to say penis twice. Penis. Let's get into this. So I know some of you are asking, is Tom Riley going to be in this one? Is Tom Riley going to grace us with his middle-aged, stilted acting? Will we ever see that lovable sailor talking oaf again? Well, just ch chill, guys. You have an uncomfortable obsession with him. Knock it off. I am happy to say that he comes back to this movie, but we have to set up the not-as-entertaining characters and the nondescript plot. I mean, this is step one, guys. So apparently Tom is famous from the leaked footage of all the other recordings that was Bad Ben 1 and Bad Ben 2. Apparently everyone knows about it, somehow. I mean, I, as far as I remember, the only people who ever got it was like the police when they were trying to figure out what happened to him. I, I don't know how it leaked unless the police leaked it, but that, that wouldn't make any sense. But uh, what am I doing? You don't ask questions. This is a Bad Ben film. Boo. Fucking Christ, Jackie. <laughs> is anyone around? And this is Jackie. Yes, you definitely saw that right. Jackie. J-A-C-Q-U-I-E. Because nobody can have a fucking normal name anymore. Everyone needs to be unique and special. Fucking millennials. But this crazy-eyed lady is a paranormal investigator along with her beta-looking soy boy cameraman named Schmitty. And after hearing about the paranormal things that happened at this house, they break in through a curiously unlocked window to loot some sweet-ass Tom Riley crap. Oh, and did I mention that she was a psychic? Because she's a psychic or a medium. Actually, I don't quite remember what she said, but you just look at her as a weird, wild, free spirit that's in touch with the other side, and really, that's all you need to fucking know about her. And what are they looking for in this house? Oh, nothing much, you know, besides one of the cameras to get the footage of what happened after the first set of videos came out, which... Actually, if you really think about it, the previous movies were supposed to be like a compilation of all the footage that the police found, and... And, and, uh, what, and, wait a fucking minute, just wait a minute. That camera shouldn't have any recordings on it. Since in the first movie, it was basically told that those cameras were webcam and everything was going to be saved on an exterior cloud. So I'll be able to see every camera through here. And do, can I hook this up to a VCR somehow? Oh, that's cool. So I can download it anywhere or access it anywhere. Not like saved on the interior devices. It's not the individual devices that have the most of the recordings. It's the, the cloud that has the recordings. I mean, come on, Nigel. I remember, and I'm just a lighthearted bully of yours. You know, at least the least you could do is just remember. 
But whatever, fine, plot needs to plot, I understand. So from here, they bring it to another man who turns out to be their boss and they find out that Tom didn't really die at the end of the original Bad Ben movie. He just simply crawls out of the basement with a little bit of ketchup on his face and, you know, nothing else to show that he was brutally beaten by an otherworldly hell spawn. Hell, they may have just had a picnic down there for all we know and he just got a little bit too excited eating his hot dog, but Tom's acting really shines through here. Not only does he walk out like, you know, really nothing happened, but he comes back to get his glasses, not even worried that he was most likely molested by a demonic Jersey Devil offspring. That's how fucking badass Tom Riley is, motherfucker. That's exactly what Mr. Bach wanted us to know about him. Tom Riley doesn't fuck around. Anywho, after they did some CSI bullshit linking an old photograph of Tom with a guy that kind of looks like a Tom, you know, kind of looks like him, they enhance the photo, they put random dots on his face to make it look scientific, and bada bang, bada boom, they somehow find him. I don't get it either. And not a minute too soon either, because the amazing adventures of wide-eyed Wendy and beta boy Bradley wasn't really that interesting. No, not to say that their acting was... I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't great. You know, it's it's much better than what we've gotten in the previous videos with other actors. But uh, Tom really wasn't willing to go back to the same house that gave him such hell, such agony. Why would he go back to that same house that fucked with him? Because he got paid. <laughs> he got paid. They paid him to come back and do their documentary with them. And as soon as he was handed that money, he just fucks off. He gets the money, closes the door, fucking runs away. It was fantastic. Don't ever change time. Oh, uh, never mind. I guess he came back. I, I guess. And by the way, I did not edit this at all. He got the money. He ran away. And then hard cut to, ah, he's fine. He's sitting on the porch. And after talking a bit on the porch, they finally get him to go inside the house, and that's where we kind of get all the reference points from the previous movies. Yeah, we see the Lord's Prayer, the cross, the Bible. It's all here. It's it's pretty much the movie nudging you. Say, do you remember that from the other movies? Side point that has nothing to do with the main plot here. I just want to talk about it for a bit. Jackie's fucking flip-flops are like water torture. Chinese water torture. At first, they were fine. Hearing them little by little, just plop, 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 it's fine. But once you hear them so much in this video, it's fucking, there's nothing less than torture. I would have agreed to be the sole responsibility of 9-11 if I heard them for an hour straight and someone's trying to push it on me. I know, it's just a minor annoyance. But enough for me to yap about it for about 30 seconds. Let's go on. After talking about nothing in importance, the medium finally does a median thing and starts trying to get a hold of whatever is haunting the house. Creepy stuff happens, Tom enters the picture, the boss follows in behind him to pat him on the back, and Tom has a Vietnam flashback and soils himself. <laughs> Here's the stilted acting I know and love, okay? Honestly, this is what anyone who enjoys these type of movies came to this movie for to laugh at the bad acting and the weird setup to the plot okay this is what it is and this is as good a time as ever to cover something that i kind of wanted to talk about it is apparent that mr bach wanted to make this whole entire thing like a series of scary movies to begin with i mean it really was the way he sets everything up the moving furniture the screeching of bad ben he went out initially to most likely make a found footage horror film but no one took it seriously i mean the reviews were and i mean still are that it's either a this is an awful horror film, one of the worst I've ever fucking seen, or B, this is fucking hilarious, I've already watched it four times in a row, with me being obviously of the latter camp. But this is by far always been the so bad it's good film. It's always been that way, and it seems like he's embraced it over the years of making these videos. His dialogues have gotten a little bit lighter and had some more comedic attempts as the series went on, and inevitably, at least on Amazon Prime, has the last two videos considered horror and comedy. Which, to anyone who doesn't watch a lot of movies, is really fucking hard to do. You can't be both scared and then in a split second have a laugh. You can't do that. It, it's, it's really, really hard. I actually can't think of one off the top of my head. 
The Evil Dead 2 and The Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness are the only movies that I think have done it fairly well, but even they didn't perfect it, okay? And whereas his previous movies most likely started with horror, and then he switched them for, I don't know, marketing or for whatever reason, this one is the first movie that actually tries to crack more jokes. It tries to open up that a little bit more. For instance, Tom says he doesn't like the beta boy or the director over and over again using different type of things that he doesn't like doing it. He cusses during the recordings, which gets everyone upset because you're not supposed to cuss doing documentaries or whatever. There's a Donald Trump joke thrown in there, and you know, I can respect him for trying to perfect this, I'm gonna call it horridy. That sounds like it sounds like a brothel, but I'm gonna call it horridy genre. But 65% of the time, I just sit there in silence. I just sit there until Tom overreacts or underreacts or does one of his classic boomer cussing fits whenever something scary happens. So, Nigel, if you continue to do this from movies, if you continue to make movies after Bad Ben and you wanna keep doing this, just don't go overboard with the jokes. That's all I'm going to say. You probably don't even know my, my message right here. You're not even going to listen to this video because I've been making fun of every one of your videos. But just don't do it. You know, just, a, just a little bit of a criticism there. Anyway, a slight deviation from the review, so let's just get right back to it. They start interviewing him about pretty much what happened in the first movie. You know, they asked him all the different questions. What happened? Were you aware that people died in it? Yada, yada, yada. And then they try to do something and then boom! Tom disappears. Everyone freaks out. They see him downstairs. They chase him downstairs. But wait a minute, he's actually upstairs. And then everyone, and then everyone just kind of goes on with the interview, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know why they didn't run away. After what I just saw there, and we got that on tape, I feel like that's enough of the documentary for more people to believe that there's paranormal shit happening. But nope, I guess it wouldn't be a horror film if people were stupid enough to not leave, right? God damn it. Then they head to the second floor. More creepy shit happens. You know, Jackie gets bit in the attic. I mean, I, I'm going through this really quickly, and I know that I'm being very, very dismissive, but the whole thing of getting in the house, talking to him, it's like, uh, yeah, I get it. You know, it's just so mad. So I'm just going to fast forward to the meditation scene where Jackie tries to interview a negative spirit in the house where she walks and talks with a demon, screams, then lays down on Schmitty. Fucking, ex excuse me, Schmitty? I'm sorry, did you just say that he's gone now? Are you, are you psychic too? <laughs> are you sure you're psychic? You never mentioned that you were psychic. How do you know the fucking presence is gone? It's invisible most of the time. You can sometimes capture it on the, 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 the green screen or whatever the hell you call it. It's mostly invisible. Don't pretend like you know what you're doing, okay? So, Tom is told that it's a demon in his house, which I'm guessing is a bad Ben? Possibly, but I mean they don't know much. I don't know much. They don't really explain what's going on here But she tells him that he needs to banish the demon or it will follow him even if he leaves the house Which I don't know why it didn't follow him before it seems like he was doing fine Sleeping out in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness by himself Apparently he didn't fuck with him. Okay, it doesn't really matter again a bad Ben film who cares they go upstairs they keep looking around, they find a character from the Metro game series, Tom gets attacked, and then a fast cut to the three of them sitting around a table and talking. Oh my god! Yeah, there's one thing I found out about this movie is that the quick cuts are fucking everywhere. The fast edits are absolutely everywhere. You can't get away from them. Something happened that's really extreme and interesting, BAM! Bring you over to a super bland, boring scene in a millisecond. Really, it's... The, the correct word is jarring. It's insanely jarring, but I don't expect any less. It was at this time that we find out that Jackie is kind of a bitch and has been lying to Tom about multiple different things to keep him inside his house for, I don't know, financial gain or to make sure that the documentary is as good as it can be. But let's be completely fair, right, guys? Let's be fair with each other. Let's talk a bunch of dude talk right here. Bitches always be setting up men for violent demonic spirits for some quick cash and fame and shit. Am I right, guys? Fist bump. Yeah, let's keep going on. All right, so Jackie is trying to summon Bad Ben in this scene, I guess. Or maybe it's just the Jersey Devil. I, I don't know. She's trying to do something which disturbs 
the thing that she was looking for. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be uncertain about all this, but if this movie is one thing, it's pretty uncertain. It, it just kind of moves you along and it expects you to pick up on every itty-bitty detail that you find along the way. But anyways, they piss off whatever it is, so whatever they did, it definitely worked. They start running away when... Oh, yes! Yes! Bad CGI! Fucking finally! Only 40 minutes in, and we finally get it. Bad graphics and... Oh, what's... A Halloween mask! A Halloween... Oh, here we fucking go! Yes! Shit. And now Tom is trying to get his attention and is sacrificing himself with a children's toy from the other movies. Man, they really will not let that thing go, will they? I mean, it had one interesting scene in the first Bad Ben, but... Okay, fine. Just keep doing it. But yeah, right, Tom's a hero! Fucking hell, he, he chased the demon away. And so you'd think that they would save him, but no, the three just regroup and decide what they're going to do next. So you're calling the police, all right? What? We can't call the cops for you, an idiot. Don't call me an idiot. I'm dyslexic, okay? <laughs> what the fuck does that have anything to do with anything? What does that ha What does that have anything to do with that, Beta Boy? I don't have no idea. Why does it matter if you have dyslexia or not? Fucking hell. But they do talk about what they should do if they should delete all the evidence so it doesn't show that they broke into somebody's house and potentially killed a man. When who would appear on the front door but badass Tom fucking Riley looking beat up and crazier than usual and threatening them with a stick. Oh boy, I hope he kills Schmitty first. I want nothing and jump cut. To jump cut to them sitting around a fucking table again. Come on. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I shouldn't get too mad because they get lured into the basement and... <laughs> supposedly attacked, maybe? I mean, they scream. And then that's it. The, the camera gets brought down to them and, you know, I, I mean, now it's just us and Tom, which... To be honest, is exactly how I wanted it since the fucking beginning. Because now it's exactly like the first Bad Ben movie, where it's just an old man walking around a big house being fucked up by a demonic force, and mmm, I love it. I love it. He runs around the house, initially looking for the group. He walks through the living room, the kitchen, walks outside, goes upstairs, looks in a room, leaves the room, walks down the hall... Oh, shit, who said Slapstick was dead? That was fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, that was good. Oh, that was... So and he fell down the stairs. <laughs> the demonic presence pushed him down the stairs. I don't know if this spirit wants him dead or if he's just playing some sort of Bart Simpson-esque tricks on him. But I fucking love it. I, I hope I hope that he stands up and there's going to be a bowling ball that flies down at his head fucking a la Home Alone style. Oh, please let that happen. Well, it didn't happen. And honestly, this is definitely the mark where things are getting fucking great. Everything before this has just been dragged down by the paranormal team just kind of talking amongst each other and just, just being dull. But when they are downstairs, I don't know, getting fondled by the demon or whatever, it's right back to middle-aged man with long camera shots with nothing but the background noise and the shuffling of his feet to entertain us. And surprisingly, surprisingly, I may be retarded here, but I absolutely love it. I love it. Sue me. So while he's alone, he decides to read up on Jackie's material to find out how to dispel this demon. Hell, if she's not going to help out, he's just going to have to do it himself. He grabs the book, a candle. He couldn't get the candle to light, so he walks away and the demon lights it. And then the demon blows the candle out. I mean, honestly, demon, Tom Riley, regular Abbott and Costello at this point. And it was around this time he finds out that the cameras are active again because he finds the iPad from the first movie and... Fucking hell, I nearly pissed myself laughing. I, I, I really did. He decides to take them all down. Don't ask why. I mean, they aren't hurting anyone and would actually help him look around the house to see where the demon might be, if it's pushing around stuff up here, down there, up there, but fuck it. Doesn't matter. 
And each time he takes down a camera, he, he says just a little quip. Every... Go back in the house, you'll be safe with me. Fucking... Did they tell you what happened here before you bought the place? <laughs> like the first one was... I should have stayed in that tent in the woods. And I thought, oh, okay, Tom, sure, sure, yeah, sure. I'm sure you're mad about it. Sure, fine, whatever. But after the fucking fifth time of him saying something, then seeing an offline screen, I was incomprehensible. I had no idea what I was doing. I was laughing so hard. You know, I think it's just like how long it takes for him to get from the camera area, opening up the door, walking over to the camera, saying something snarky, offline screen. <laughs> It's so great. Again, I may just be dumb. I just may be a dumb, overweight, alcoholic motherfucker. But I found this so bizarre, surreal. It's It was amazing. And for some reason, he forgot a few cameras behind so we could still see him, I don't know, talking to the demons, telling him that they don't care, that the demon took the, the three people and he's leaving the house and he leaves the house and... Then he comes back demanding the three strangers back. Don't know why. Even he doesn't know why. Whatever. It's because Tom has a heart, okay? I'm going to defend him. Tom has a heart. He cares. He doesn't want them to get hurt. And I'm pretty sure he wants to bang Jackie as much as I do. But it's mostly because he cares. Oh, wait. He tries to leave again. And now the demon won't, demon won't let him let him leave so honestly i don't know what tom wants i have no idea what he wants right now because he's throwing mixed signals left and right but uh oh wait i do know what he wants he wants to take down the rest of the cameras that he forgot so right back to the offline montages Oh, and one thing leads to another. He's like, oh, I didn't check downstairs yet. They might be downstairs. There might be more cameras downstairs. Who knows? He goes downstairs, breaks in the locked door where he finds the missing team just lying down. Yeah, not, uh, not sure why they're still alive. I'm sure if I was an evil spirit, I would want to kill or play jump rope with their entrails or both. I mean, you probably can't have one without the other, but okay. You know, whatever. Oh, maybe they possessed them. That's what it is. They probably possessed them, and then now they're gonna be like their 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 minions. That's exactly what it is. I know it. Oh, nope. They're uh they're just talking regular. They're moving around. So um. We shouldn't be here. So what? The poltergeist just hit them with the chloroform rag and just watched them sleep. I mean. Bad Ben sounds more like he's just lonely and wants company, and doesn't matter if they're awake or asleep, apparently. Listen, geniuses, we've been doing this your way up to this point. Now we're going to do it my way. Which is what? We fight. Yeah! Fight him, Tom! I'm so fucking ready for this! Get your garlic necklaces and your holy water and, 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 uh, what the fuck is this? What are you doing here, Dr. Dyslexia? What's happening? Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be played as a joke, but this dude's sad face, it looks like he's actually fighting back laughter. I mean, that's what it looks like. Uh, all right, no, I'm not doing this. We're skipping it. Skip! So, to fight the beast, one must become the beast. And obviously that means that Jackie needs to be possessed by the demon, she needs to attack the other crew, and then... Yo, bitch! Hey, Ben! There's someone in here you want to meet. This is the bitch that broke your toy. <laughs> was the demon wait who the fuck is the demon then who is this bad force is, is the is it the mother from the second movie i don't did that was it the dad that was killed i don't i don't under okay whatever you know i'm caring too much about this movie fine there's 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 two demonic forces one is bad ben and the other one is the she devil bad ben could somehow take the spirit out of jackie without hurting her taking it outside and fighting it fine if whatever i just there's 15 minutes left of this movie let's wrap this shit up with something special nigel please make me remember this ending
So they survive the night, the house is clear, and they say their goodbyes to each other, and Tom comes back inside for a final goodbye and to grab an out-of-date MP3 device that Jackie gave him and uh, to give us a proper end to such an amazing event. You know, such an amazing series. Sure, we've had some ups and downs here, but oh, oh, please, Nigel, p p please, please give us one more pull. P give us a pull, yeah! Yeah, I'm pulling down! Oh, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, pull pull his ass down for the good old times. Come on, let, let go. Let go of the fucking wall. Let go of the wall. Oh, my God, please, 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 please. Yeah, <laughs> he pulled it down. Oh, my God, he's back. He's back! Oh, is, is this two pulls? This two pulls! That's two pulls, ladies and gentlemen! I, I, okay, this is getting kind of weird that, uh, okay. But, um, was Bad Ben doing something to him right there? Because that, that looked like bad touch. Bad touch, Bad Ben. That's a... Oh, my. Well, if uh, people ever ask you if dreams actually do come true... I'm living proof to that. What a fucking way to end this series. Never in my right mind would I think that I would be blessed to see a naked Tom Riley, and yes, will most likely haunt my dreams. <sighs> what a great series of movies. It really was. And when I, I and when I mean great, I obviously mean terrible. I mean, but the thing is, if Nigel is still watching and didn't leave as soon as I started bullying him, pretty much, I'm glad your movies show that you at least have fun making them. I, I, I have seen movies that were made to be so bad that they're good, like The Amazing Bulk, or arguably the absolutely retarded abominations like The Date Movie or Disaster Movie. And when a company tries to make a movie that's so bad it's good, it comes off as disingenuous and honestly worse than AIDS. It's terrible watching those movies. I didn't get that from the Bad Ben movies. I saw a middle-aged man who wanted to make a movie. So he bought multiple cameras from Best Buy, asked the local college theater troupe if they wanted uh, to be in a couple movies for maybe uh, 20 bucks or so, and he made a movie to the best of his ability. And sure, the script is strange, the acting is stilted, the budget is low, the effort is minimum, the effects were passable without exceeding greatness. This should be a shitty, boring movie. It, it's, it, but it's all these things put together with the deadpan acting of one single man that gave me so much entertainment. Sure, it was cheap entertainment, I'll give you that, but without any sort of negative slight to Nigel Bach, no joking, no sarcasm of any kind, I'm glad I found your videos. I really am. If you have anything else coming out, I will definitely be watching them. But as of now, we close the book of the Bad Ben series. You know, thank you all so much for sticking with me for this long. I'm glad that I found you this movie. And if you guys have any movies that you want me to watch, preferably so bad they're good, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I, if you don't want me to watch movies at all, eh, it's going to be a tough one. I love, me wa I love watching me some movies here. So thank you all very much. I hope that you are, I hope you feel this, this release like I did. Cheers. Zach, you're the best.